Meanwhile, Jordan and Janelle found out that KGNB Television had done a special report on Heptachlor back in 1983. They got a copy of the tape from the station so we could all watch it. But something did go wrong, and residents learned last year that their milk was contaminated. What has happened since the Heptachlor incident? Is our milk safe today? And could a similar contamination happen in the islands again? We examine these questions tonight on KGMB News Special Report. Crystal and Heather were interested in learning more about why pesticides are used. They went to see Barry Brennan. His job is to collect information on pesticides and teach people how to use them properly. So we decided that we would have six different uh, fruits or vegetables here and we would ask you to help us do some shopping. So he laid out some fruits and vegetables that he had bought and asked the girls to be part of an experiment. Now your job is, I want to pretend that your mother says, oh geez, we got to get something for dinner tonight. So I'm going to ask you to pick one of each one of these things. Now you can talk to Crystal and Heather didn't know it, but Barry had two kinds of produce on the table. Those grown with pesticides and those that were not. Okay, you got the two you want. All right, now, let's take a look at what you've chosen. And let's take a look at what the cost was. After checking the receipts, they discovered that they had picked more fruit that was grown with pesticides. They also found that the food that was grown without pesticides, what they call organic food, was more expensive. So why are pesticides used? Basically because consumers like yourself and your parents want food which is cheap and looks good. But nowadays we, we need to look at many, many more sorts of things like does the pesticide uh, accumulate in the environment? Where does it go? How does it affect birds? Is it going to hurt you five years from now? How much is there? Is there enough there to hurt you? The amount of heptachloripoxide that was found in the milk in 1982 was measured at about one part per million. This seems like a really small amount, but what does part per million really mean? This pool provided the answer. It belongs to Ted Norton, who used to research agricultural chemicals. And the pool contains 15,000 gallons of water, which is 120,000 pounds. Now, in terms of ounces, it turns out that that's two million ounces. There are two million ounces of water in here. Okay, so one part per million would be two ounces, right? Two ounces in two million would be one part per million. This is two ounces of a red dye, food dye, so we can swim in a pool later, okay? That's it. There, there's two ounces going down, and there are two million in there, so it's one part per million. If the pool had been a giant carton of milk, then the two ounces of red dye would be equal to the amount of heptachlor that was found in the milk in 1982. In other words, when they talk about parts per million or parts per billion of heptachlor in the milk, at least you'll have some idea of how low a concentration that is. That doesn't mean it doesn't have activity, that it can't cause trouble, because some things at even parts per trillion can be dangerous if taken on a regular basis. And for a, a grown man, the amount that was in the milk was really not all that significant. It looked like it was tolerable. But what about babies? You know, they drink a little tiny baby will drink a quart of milk a day. And so I figured that out, and boy, it was right on the ragged edge. And by ragged edge, I don't mean on the safe edge, but getting close to where you actually see symptoms in other animals. Well, something is toxic, what does that mean? That means is that it, it, it call, causes ill effect. You know, somebody is having a cocktail before dinner usually doesn't think, well, I'm drinking a toxic material. But the very word intoxicated means that it is <laughs> causing a, a toxic problem. Is heptachlor toxic? Yes, it's uh, quite toxic. And it's absorbed through the skin as well as, you know, by ingestion to cause its toxic effects. Is there still heptachlor in our environment? 
There certainly is. Not only is it still in our environment, you, but you could be on an isolated atoll in the South Pacific, clear away from any agriculture, and you, you would find these pesticides in your fat and in the milk of mothers. They find it in whales or polar bears. Uh, pesticides are all over.